Hello everyone, welcome back to this Life Glider video. In today's video, it is a continuation of my thoughts going from a wheelchair walking frame to a life glider. Now there are some more things that I have realized um, since my last video regarding the subject uh, matter and it kind of dawned on me a few days after I posted the video of what can be achieved um, incorporating and implementing the knowledge gained from both utilizing a wheelchair and a walking frame. So in today's video I'm going to somewhat um, utilize both sets of knowledge into one video this time. So there'll be no two videos, one about the wheelchair and one about the walking frame. So let's begin by talking about um, dancing. So dancing, um, going from both a wheelchair and a walking frame, can somewhat be achieved um, naturally and also incorporating um, a previous knowledge gained from both the wheelchair and the walking frame. But how is this possible and, and achievable? So what I mean by this is if you decide to dance whilst being unbuckled, um, it, it will somewhat be similar to how, how, a, how a walking frame goes about, goes about achieving dancing within a, within a safety sense. So, so your feet will still be able to shuffle, um, move, and also run on the spot, and also um, do other dance moves that incorporate your feet and legs. Also, um, one-handed, one-handed dancing will also be able and achievable to be successfully transferred as it would be in a walking frame you know put one hand on on one on one handlebar to maintain stability and balance and you can do like one-handed waves and you know like move your hand to move your arm and hand to the side so very sort of straightforward um, sort of dance moves can be transferred. Um, and also you could um, do like head bopping as well. So you can like, so they can move your head up and down and stuff. You can jump, you can move your body side to side and basically that's it really um going from a wheelchair the similarities are you can move um your your, your upper body you can move your hands you can you can um you can do like a um you can you can walk around in circles which is the same in a walking frame. You can um, you can also um, move backwards because of the wheels within uh, the life glider. Because they have a bit, they have a, they have a bit more um, flexibility and um, and a wider turn radius. Um, also as well, line dancing can be achieved across all three pieces of equipment w without any difficulty. And for the life layer, it can be achieved either belted or unbelted, but depending on the confidence of the individuals, it's up to them if they want to do that. Um, something else that I've also noticed 
as well is um, the activity wills from a functionality standpoint is somewhat similar to um, to the belt not I'm uh, not belt sorry to the brake mechanism because when you put your foot on the activity wheels it, it does like a um, clicking sound to put the brake on or to put the brake off to able the um, the turning um, flexibility um, uh, flexibility functionality but having said that the brake mechanism um, system isn't on the wheels it is achieved um, from the from the from the brake mechanism on either side of the um, on sorry on the allocator side of the handlebar but it does produce that similar sort of um, sort of feedback that says oh um, you are you are able to um, move freely or able to move with the brake uh, and being paused so once you hear on that um on that little um on that little like snap um clunk sort of sort of um sound cue you should be able to um you know um realize when the brake is in active or active mode and that is somewhat similar to the um, activity wheels featured on a walking frame and when you are in a, a self-propelled wheelchair. Something else I've also realised um, that can be transferred is, um, is leaning down to open doors to access um, to access objects from a lower or higher um, vantage point you know like in a cupboard or a cupboard or something and that can somewhat be transferred from the walking frame or from a wheelchair but only um, by, uh, from for both the unbuckled or buckled and yeah that's about it really um regarding more things that i've realized um so i hope this helps please stay tuned for future videos thank you very much for watching and, and have a good day